Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? Um, flooding in Israel. Uh, let me get uh, quickly a report on this that is just now happening. But uh, you heard me right. Flooding in Israel. Uh, and it's unfortunately a, a deadly situation. A, a school bus carrying 37 children has been swept away uh, from floodwaters. 18 people are dead. Now, this happened over near the Dead Sea. A flash flood due to a powerful thunderstorm. Of course, Israel's been going through a five-year drought. And we, when we were there, they were asking us to pray you know, that rain would come and that it would help. But obviously when rain does come, then if you've had a drought for a long time, the ground is dry and hard. Then when the rain hits, it won't, the ground can't soak it in. It, it just flows over. It's too hard. It takes time. So here comes the flash flooding. Rescue, search and rescue efforts are underway. Israeli has, Israel has deployed helicopters with IDF and civil uh, rescue teams to the Jordanian side of the Dead Sea when a school bus carrying 37 school children and seven teachers was swept away by flash floods at the request that came directly from the Jordanian government. So this happened over in the Jordanian side of the Dead Sea. The soldiers from the Air Force's 669 Search and Rescue Unit continue to search until the harsh weather conditions made it impossible to do so, and the Jordanian authorities called off the search. So it, the, the flash flood hits the Dead Sea. It is going to help tremendously that area in Israel. But also, it created a flash flood that when the floodwaters raged into the Jordanian side of the Dead Sea, it swept away a Jordanian school bus full of children and teachers. Now, Jordan asked Israel, can you come and help? Israel responds and says, yes. And despite the IDF's efforts, 18 people are dead in this flash flood, most of them in the school bus that was swept away. There were reports that 34 people have been rescued from the entire area, although some of them are said to be in serious condition. The dead and injured also included members of families, that were picnicking uh, over near the Hot Springs, which is a very popular tourist spot. And the Dead Sea is the lowest point on Earth, okay? 432 meters below sea level and extremely popular with visitors. However, its arid conditions and deep canyons make it very susceptible to flash floods if rains finally do come. There were people who ended up in the seawater and there were people who managed to reach the rocks and save themselves. Thank God we managed to save 13 people without any injuries. But Jordan's King Abdullah canceled a visit to Bahrain scheduled for today because of the tragedy, according to local media. And yesterday's thunderstorm is the second tragedy resulting from flash flooding near the Dead Sea this year. Both involved school students, and where weather warnings seem to have been ignored over in the Jordanian side. Back in April the 10th of this year, Israeli teenage hikers were swept away and they were killed in southern Israel, uh, yet 15. 10, 10 Israeli hikers were killed and 15 were rescued. That happened back in April on the Israeli side of the, of the Dead Sea. So uh, our hearts and prayers go out to the Jordanian families who have lost their children and uh, praying for those that are hospitalized, some of them in serious condition. We also want to thank the Israeli government for sending the IDF on a rescue miss mission when asked to go and help by the King of Jordan. And what good, you know, look, let's just say this. The timing for them to respond like that was very good. I mean, we hate any kind of tragedy, but... The fact that the king of Jordan just said he wasn't going to renew the land for peace deal. And then the rains come. The rains are going to help the Israeli side of the desert extremely because it was in such a drought. As a matter of fact, they even asked us to pray that it would rain. And our people on our tour there said we would pray for rain. And I told them and rain would come. And it has at least uh, yesterday. But 
The problem is uh, the tragedy over on the Jordanian side of the border. Let's hope that maybe this, this uh, again, this kind gesture, this always willing to help the nation of Israel, let's hope maybe that does soften the heart of the king and he rethinks this thing about keeping that peace for land treaty going between the nation of Jordan and the nation of Israel. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. We're certainly living in the last days.